Alright, hey YouTube, it's Retro Sandman. Uh, today's another tutorial, and this one's going to be in Cinema 4D. I'm going to be showing you guys how to rotate your text. Um, not just the whole entire text, but uh, every individual text itself. So, uh, it's uh, not too hard. It's probably intermediate. Um, kind of basic. So, uh, open Cinema 4D. You're going to come up to MoGraph, and uh, text object is always uh, very simple here. Uh, I have to make a thing for someone, a friend. Um, come down, type whatever you want. You can type whatever you want, but I have to do this for now. Um, for a friend, I'm making a background for right now. So, that's why I have Photoshop open. Um, you guys type what you want, and uh, um, yeah. So, now what we are going to do, we are going to, uh, we are going to change the depth of it. So, I'm going to put mine up to 100. That's a, a good depth. 100 is very nice. And uh, next, what we're going to do, we are going to uh, duplicate the text layer by uh, coming up here, selecting the text object, hit Control C and then Control V. That will copy it, make a text object one. And uh, now, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure we have that text object one selected, and change the depth of that to 50, half of whatever you have. Um, and uh, then we're going to move it to the center of the the bigger text, um, our original text. And then um, make sure you have your text object one selected still. And we're going to go to cap caps, and we're going to select fillet cap for both start and end, and that will give it a cool effect. And also, actually, I could I should have done this before. Uh, you can change your your font. I'm going to change my font really quick. It's not a big deal. Just I like to. I'm going to change it. Uh, let's get a, a cool uh, graffiti one going on here. Oh, this one's cool. I don't even know what it's called. But I need to do it for both of these. Strassa or something like that. I don't know. But let me get this real quick. And there we go. Alright. So now I have a different text. Um, that wasn't a big deal. Um, what we're going to do now is add some color. So uh, we're going to come down here to our uh, little open area and we're going to double click. Uh, we're going to need two colors. So I'm going to double click again to add another one like that and now we should have two uh, boring colors down here uh, double click on the first one and change the color of it to whatever I'm gonna change it to a uh, red um, and then we're gonna select luminance and uh, change that to a red too just like that and then add a reflection and change the brightness down to about 20 I like it at 20 and then for a texture we're going to select Fresnel and change that down to 22 and uh, you can change the blurness to 5%. That's what I like it at. And then uh, exit out of that. <clears throat> Double click on our next material. And uh, I'm going to make this one black. You guys can make it whatever colors you want again. Uh, for the luminance, make sure you have luminance checked again. Change it to whatever color. And reflection, same thing here. Change that to 20. Fresnel. And 20%. And 5. There we go. Exit out of that. And uh, we're going to take our first one, our first gradient, or not gradient, color, and drag it on there. And uh, it will give it a cool look. Like that. And then uh, if you can't get the second material on to that uh, next thing, you can just come up and drop it on it, on the text up there. And as you can see, we have a pretty nice looking um, text so far. So if you render it out, you can see what it looks like. And that's what we have so far. You just can't see the black very well because the background is black uh, when you render it. But uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start attempt, uh, not attempting, but we're gonna start rotating the text. And uh, there's a couple steps to get to those. So uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna select both of these objects like that, and then we're gonna hit uh, C, and that will make it a object. Um, it will just kind of separate them from being one whole thing. So now if you uh, Select your text object, not the, not text object, text object one, but text object, and go down and hit the plus until you see all these uh, little, uh, nerbs with all the your letters in it. Uh, we're gonna take those, so select all of those, and then drag it, um, so it's out of it. Drag it to the very top until it's arrow over, and then that will uh, um, take it out of that little um thingy group thing that was in so now it's just open and as you can see we lost all of our color 
What we're going to do, we're going to hold uh, control and drag the red or whatever color you had for it and drag it up to it. So like that, and then make sure you deselect, hold C, select the red, bring it up, drop it there, and uh, do that for every single one. Make sure you deselect or else it will copy more uh, thing colors than it needs to. Um, doesn't take too long. So just like that, and now we have all of our colors. We can delete the uh, text object, the null one, So uh, since it has nothing in it. So you can delete that, and now we have uh, this so far. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for that uh, for the next uh, text. So we're gonna go in these plus things here, and we're going to select all these like that, and drag it so it's out of that group. And uh, then you can delete that or not delete it yet, but hold C, drag that color up to every single uh, letter like this, and uh, just holding Control and dragging it this get that done all right now we can delete that um, null object and uh, now we have all of these letters and uh, what to do we're going to uh, now we're going to put them next to each other so we have the G here and the G here so we're gonna drag the first G and drag it underneath the second G like that and then we have uh, the next letter S and we're gonna drag it underneath um, the second S if you get what I'm saying, uh, go ahead and do this. If you don't get it, I don't know how you don't get it, but uh, it's not hard. If you have a question, message me, and uh, I can help you out. But this is simple. So there we go. We have all of them um, underneath each other, so um, like that. Now what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to group these. So we are going to select both of the S's like that or we're going to select hang on we're going to select both of these S's like that so now they're both selected and we're going to hit control or alt and G and that will group them into a null object and we're going to do that for every single letter so you select the next L's two L's group hit alt G and then same thing with the next two and the next two and the next two and on and on just like that so now we have uh... now we can uh... move these however we want to like this every single individual letter by uh... not clicking on them in the 3d form but over here in the layer panel thing and as you can see we can move them wherever we want to and that also means we can rotate them so we can uh... select our first letter get this uh... rotate tool up here and uh... rotate it just like that maybe move it forward and this is where you guys can do uh, what you want to uh, design. Just like this, you can select your next one, rotate it, like that. And uh, keep rotating. You guys can rotate your text however you want to, guys. And uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. And I will catch you guys in my next one. i got to finish this uh, template that I'm making for a friend. So guys, I'll see you in my next one, and uh, peace out.